So I wanted to make a quick video of this here uh, because nobody's really explaining where the hell you get this damn file. It's on printables. If you just look up this name, you'll find it in here. <clears throat> Download it. I don't know if it gives any information about how to use it, but this is the one that you're going to want for this piece of junk. Ender 3 that does not have auto bed leveling that works. Um, there's lots of stuff on here. Actually, this is a pretty good site. This is, I guess, uh, brought to you by Prusa. Anyway, that's where it's at. So you find that on here. Save it to your card. Eject your card. And then with the headache, continue. And then you insert this into the ender. They call it an ender because it will be the end of your printing. You will never get anything accomplished. You'll go, this is the end. It is time to move on. That's the calibration cube. I don't see it on here. I wonder if it didn't save it. Yeah, um... Looks like I gotta go back to the computer. So in this case I had to shorten the file because it was pretty long. So I think that's why it didn't save. Alright. Alright, back to the dirty ender. Let's see if it shows up this time. There it is right there. Um, I'm not sure what the calibration would really be for in the case of this, but we'll go ahead and put it on because I've tried a few different things, so we'll just see what it does. I guess it'll uh, calibrate itself and uh, start again from scratch, so that means that all the adjustments that I've made probably will be gone, I guess, I don't know. Um, so, physical adjustments has been, this piece here was not even with the rest of it. Now, um, this bed is, is not level, so there's not a lot I can do about that without, like, doing some hardcore crap to this thing. I'm getting underneath here and removing these pieces. Yeah, I think that's what it really boils down to. Remove those pieces, and basically, uh, you would have to convert this whole stupid thing. Um, so, very stupid. You would need to convert it to basically something like that. And, um, you might have to. Alright, so we're waiting for it to do its calibration thing. And it, it's regular, like... You know, it's not calibrating anything, it's just checking. It, it reads with the uh, touch sensor. It does this little boing -a boing boing bull crap, you know, and it just goes up and down and probes the bed, moves along to the next spot, and uh, it will do this every time that you tell it to, I guess, when you go to print. And then, um,. So it sits here and it's, uh, once it's finished with that, I guess then it will uh, probably just go ahead and heat up. And sit, it'll sit right in the middle here, I think. I don't remember what it does. Um, I didn't really, <laughs> I'm over it, man. Like when I first got it, I printed the, the cat thing and I would print it really good. And I thought, wow, what a great printer, man. This thing's awesome. Then I printed um, uh, something else. I can't remember what it was. Um, 
And I thought, wow. And then I printed um, a cell phone holder and it didn't work. It was like the wrong size. And then I printed something else and it was the wrong size. And then I started to think, well, something's got to be wrong here because I'm using these crappy old um, two auto uh, um, pyramid printers and they're doing a better job. So that's when I started to realize something's wrong here and it's the only prints reliable in the center. Anything outside of here and you start to have problems. And I, I knew that the print bed was showing errors here and here. And a lot of that went away when I adjusted this. It's possible I need to double check that again. But these these rods right here, um, they got to be with in each other. So we are going to looks like 250 is what it's set to. Um, and then 70 for the bed and it's just gonna print these squares like I showed you guys so I'll let you know when it starts doing that don't hold your breath I don't think this is gonna be anything great all right so it's about ready to do its thing whatever the hell that might be how can you be at six percent you haven't even done anything we're gonna print this turd right here for you guys Courtesy of Turdville. Man, what a pile of junk. All these people that I saw doing reviews on these things were like, oh, these are so great. Yeah, they all got them for free. They didn't have to pay for the damn thing. Let's see what this stupid thing is actually doing. Probably screwing up right out of the gate. It looks like it is. Yep. Already screwing up. Do that. The hell is that crap? We can't even print our test, you know? This thing's retarded. Oh lord. I want my money back. Oh, you have to send it to UPS and then you need blah blah blah. blah. Okay, well. We'll fiddle with this thing for a while. That one didn't print either. Well, now our z-axis stayed the same. It didn't reset that. Now I'm wondering... I'm going to let it attempt to, to print because I want to see where it tries to print. I think this part of the bed is in worse shape than the rest. Okay, so we're starting to look like maybe it might. Lay down over here. So, I think that the front of this thing is up too high. I honestly really don't understand how to adjust it. Okay, so that one's fine. So we know we're okay over here. All right, so that's cool. Um, these ones here are so bad that we couldn't, one, two, three, yeah, three right here that wouldn't even print. And I would, uh, I'm gonna guess this one probably be probably okay. I, cause I think the numbers are, are higher in the front on this thing.
blocking my view. I can't see what it just did. Yeah, it looks okay. So, um, I'm just going to let it go and I'll, I'll come back and look later. Well, that's pretty bad. <laughs> my goodness.